Hello, hello, hello! What's happening, everybody? MCOC Droid Des back again with another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. So, as you can see, I've already got week three of the Summer SmackDown Boss Rush Challenge live here. It is Gamma. Um, I have already. Oh, it's not showing here. That's weird. Let me back out and back in. Um, I've already done Alpha and Beta. I was trying to get those done quickly for shards for this past weekend for the big opening that I had done. So I will go back and do some videos on those, even if it's just like this, where I just do one full run through. Um, just for, for completion's sake, I want to make sure that I, I cover all six weeks. So definitely be on the lookout for those videos in the future. I just figured I would start... Uh, with this one since it just went live yesterday, so I'm focusing on epic difficulty as you can see from the title of the video here So let's talk about the team that I plan on using um, You saw there clairvoyant is the boss. So of course that means I'm bringing in my human torch because she she is just going to get totally melted by him. Um, I'm going to bring Corvus. I'm going to use him for, it looks like most of the fights, honestly. I'm going to get him ramped up pretty quickly here. Um, the only one that I'm semi-worried about um, in terms of a Corvus matchup is going to be that Mysterio, just because he can auto-generate uh, poison gases on you. So, uh, well, stacks of poison when he has stacks of gas on him, I should say. So I'm going to bring in Medusa as a backup just for that fight since she is poison immune and she's a non-robot attacker. Um, I've got Warlock here who, of course, is also poison immune, but he is a robot. So, you know, we'll get to that, that node on him in a second. Um, and then for my last spot, who should I bring in? Um, I'll bring in, I'm going to bring in Omega Red, just kind of as a backup as well. So let's begin. Um, we got Stealthy up here first. Probably not going to be talking through most of the fights themselves, so I may throw some music on or speed it up or something. But uh, uh, Stealthy doesn't look too, too bad here. His debuffs last longer, okay, fine. His furies are more effective, okay, fine. So basically, so far, just don't get hit. Uh, this great power comes great utility node. Stealthy starts the fight with a different web cartridge depending on the opponent. I assume that means based on what class you are. Um, would be nice to get some, some further detail on this. But of course, if anyone knows further detail on this node itself, feel free to put that down in the comments below. Uh, catch this if stealthy evades an attack which of course you know he starts with one stealth charge the attacker is inflicted with the loaded web cartridge debuff so i'm just gonna have to see what that is uh because like i said he will evade pretty quickly and then improve power gain so i am going to i'll start with corvus um, again i know that the evade is going to happen pretty quickly so you know as long as i can then trigger a heavy or a special on him boom there's the first charge so yeah let's get into it see if I can multitask here so all right there it is already I'll kind of you know what I'll just dance around I'll let that expire not that I'm too worried about it in fact let's just go ahead and get this out of the way boom there's the first charge so now of course I'm gonna be hitting uh, a wee bit harder try and roll down that health before he can throw a special mind a little bit faster than I had expected, but that's totally fine. Um, I can, of course, just do the cheapy parry one, two. That way he never officially evades. And let's finish him off with special two, and boom, stealthy down. Not too shabby. Um, and like I said, I've already got the first charge here, so... Let's continue on with Corvus against Mysterio, just because, you know, getting those armor breaks on the parries. That was the other reason why I brought Medusa. Uh, not just because she's a cosmic, of course, not just because she's poison immune, but she can easily trigger armor breaks, which uh, shut down a lot of Mysterio's abilities. So the nodes on him, poison is more effective, physical resistance, um, nano plague, that's why I was talking before, like, yes, Warlock is also uh, poison immune, and he can armor break on a special two. But, uh, you know, then you get shock damage instead here, instead of uh, the poison. So that's why somebody like Medusa is even better. She's poison immune, non-robot, good backup. Um, so the toxic behavior mode is the node I was talking about. If Mysterio has three chemical gases on him for eight seconds, which of course, since he's awakened, they just auto-generate on him. 
um, they are automatically converted into a poison debuff on the attacker. So a little annoying. I'm hoping uh, really doesn't take that long to take Mysterio down since I've got class advantage and I've already got the one charge on Corvus. Um, and while Mysterio's helmet is active, all power gained from landing and receiving attacks is increased. But again, with the constant armor breaks that'll be coming from Corvus's parries, I'm not terribly worried about that. And there we go. I've already got the first one right there. So, yeah, let's just, uh, at this point, it's really just trying to take him down. Still want to watch out for the specials, of course, like this one. Ah! Slightly uh, slow on that second dash back there. So I'm just going to kind of wait. Okay, we are good to go. Because otherwise, since he launched that special one, of course, uh, with that ability still alive, any damage that I did against him would have reflected back on me when that thing expired. So I was happy to wait. And boom, he is down very quickly as well. Let's keep this moving in real time. Because why not? So Sunspot, same deal. I mean, uh, if I can take him out, that would be another charge on Corvus. So I'm going to stick with him for now. Of course, the Incinerates could stack up quickly, and this might be a very quick fight. But we'll see how it goes. Incinerate is more effective. Defensive ability accuracy is lowered Lowered, excuse me, while under the effects of Incinerate. Um, i got to just stay active on him. Get an Incinerate every two seconds. So yeah, just need to, to to keep active against him. He shrugs off debuff sooner. And every 10 seconds, he gains a stack of flare state. So we'll see. This may be the end of Corvus right here. And this may prove um, not to be the best matchup. But I will still take him down anyway as quickly as I can, hopefully. Come at me, hopefully. There we go. I was like, yeah, as long as you don't trigger a special just yet they were perfect did get that one incinerate but it was too late because i was able to get to the special two and boom he is down very nice this is going this is going nice this is going nice um i'm gonna stick with corvus honestly because again now i've got three charges class advantage the armor break not too worried about these nodes um the armor up is more effective but again with my consistent armor breaks on corvus that won't be a problem Power Drain is more effective. Bubble Shield, so I just, I can't uh, hit into Warlock's block, basically. So, um, I'll have to avoid that, unfortunately. Um, Empowered Immunity, not a big deal, because, again, the only debuff that I'm triggering is Armor Break, which Warlock is not immune to, so boom, that's safe. Uh, spreading Infection, whenever the opponent would gain one or more Virus Charges, there's a 50% chance to gain a second one. Um, not too, too worried about that. Again, I'll just basically beat into Warlock. And then masochism. So really, I just want to get two parries in pretty quickly. Uh, there's the first. So he gets that first power gain. That's fine. Um, I guess they count that as being immune. Ooh, I missed time to that parry, unfortunately. There we go. I was like, oh, it's going to be close. I'm like, let me let me uh, stop talking here for a second so I can focus on the fight. Um, but yeah, that went uh, that went pretty decently, I must say. Uh, Vision Arcus, kind of annoying, I'm sure, just with all of his debuffs and whatnot. Um, armor Break is more effective. Energy attacks inflict more damage. He's got Limber, uh, Personal Space, and then Power Gain Rate Immune. He's immune to effects that modify... Power gain rate, including Petrify. Um, I'm going to start with Corvus, just because he is uh, immune, you know, to the cold snaps and whatnot. So, in fact, I'll actually pick up a little bit of health between that and the armor breaks. So, just as long as I don't die, um, I should do okay here. And there's the, the tenacity that I pretty much always assume will come when I'm fighting against Vision Arcus and, and doing, like, that first parry. Good, I was trying to bait out the special one. Ah, see, like I said, tenacity. Gotta always remember about that tenacity. The higher his SIG level, the more likely that is going to happen. This should honestly do it, and there we go. It does. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, one more fight, and then this is all over. So... Of course, I'm going to be using Human Torch here. Of course, I'm going to be activating... Oops, sorry. I'm going to be activating his pre-fight ability. Um, the nodes, honestly, are, are, are kind of insignificant. Um, 
just based on that, just because, again, she's going to get melted so quickly. But let's take a look at them. So she is stun immune. She's aggressive. Debuffs last longer. Every three seconds she gets a clairvoyance charge. And then Curse of Death. That's a pretty common node for her. They like to put on her. Once she reaches 20, they are immediately removed and replaced with Death Touch, which lasts indefinitely. But uh, not terribly worried about that. I don't think the fight will take anywhere near that long. Just got to watch out for the stun immunity. Here we go. Let's start building up some uh, incinerates on her, or I guess I should say some Nova Flames. Feel there we go. I was like, let's bait out that special one. See if we can do it again. Boom. Get a few extra hits on her. Get out that special one one more time. Oh, I mistimed it. Oh, I didn't think she was going to throw it that quickly. I thought I had like one more good hit in her. And um, that's what I get. I jinxed myself. So let's finish her off. Uh, hopefully Omega Red right here should be decent enough. Just because of the death field with all of these bleeds. Which are not very strong. And she's done. Okay. So, so of course, I wanted to get the one shot on all of these fights and get the one shot with Human Torch. But I had to miss time the special one. But that's it. So, that's epic mode. Um, yeah. I mean, there are a good number of other counters, of course. You know, um, obviously, somebody like Doom would be great against Vision Arcus. But I don't have Doom. Um, Warlock, you know, you could use a bit more if need be. But, uh, you know, Colossus, I think, would be probably good for some of these fights and uh yeah definitely a few others let me know if you'd like to see me run this with some other champs to just to see how well they do against some of these other fights let's see we can go back in just so we can look at the champs but uh yeah let me know and that'll do it so thank you so much for watching again if you have any other suggestions or want to see me do some other fights in here put it down in the comments below for all to see for now though thank you so much for watching be sure to hit that like button hit subscribe ring the bell and turn on all notifications so you get notified of all of my content and streams coming up aside from that though thank you so much for watching take care and i will see you next time